This is part three of section 1.2, using segments and congruence. Last time we talked about that ruler postulate. We did some examples. We even did some examples on rulers. We did the inches side and the centimeter side. Uh, one thing I didn't mention about the centimeter side there, each little space there is a tenth of a centimeter. You can also call that a millimeter. Okay, new stuff for this part. We're going to add some segment lengths. And before we do that, we need to look at what it means to be between. When the three points are collinear, you can say that one point is between the other two. For example, look at the line on the left. Point B is in between point A and point C. They're collinear points and B clearly lives in between them. Now, we're not going to say that point E is between point D and point F because point E is not on the same line. So when we say this between, we're referring them to those points being collinear. And that might seem kind of silly, but that's because that's the way this postulate is written. So postulate number two, is your segment addition postulate. If point B is between point A and point C, then the distance from A to B plus the distance from B to C has to equal the distance from A to C. And that might look really confusing and it might sound way more confusing, but it's actually very simple. If you just look at that diagram down there where we have a line, there are three segments there. There are two little ones, that's segment AB and segment BC, and then we have a big segment, segment AC. If we know the lengths of the two little segments, all you're going to do is add them together to get the length of the big segment. That's really all it's telling you. Okay, another way to say this would be little plus little equals big. That just refers to two little segments that are next to each other added together to give you the big segment length. So you're going to see this a lot where they show you A to B plus B to C equals A to C. That's your segment addition postulate. OK, we're going to try some examples. Here's a number line, lots of segments on there. And what they're doing is they're going to tell you the length of two segments and they're going to ask you to find the length of another segment. So let's read, read this one. Make sure you understand how to read this. Number nine, if the distance from Q to S is 29 and the distance from S to T is nine, find the distance from Q to T. Again, I would like to write this out, just not able to right now. What you need to realize is point S is in between point Q and point T. What that's telling you is segment QT is the biggest segment length. So if that's the biggest segment length, then segment QS and segment ST are the smaller segment lengths. Those are your little ones. Little plus little equals big. Add your two littles and it gives you your big. So when we identified segment QT as the big segment, it's probably a good idea on your notes to write the word big. You know that's the biggest segment. Segment QT is definitely bigger than segment QS, and it's definitely bigger than segment ST because both of those little segments live inside of it. Okay, so now that you know that, what do you do with the two little lengths? Segment addition postulate. You're going to add them together. How long is segment? segment QT, it would be 29 plus 9. That gives you 38. That's how long segment QT is. Number 10. The distance from P to S is 62. The distance from P to R is 25. Find the distance from R to S. This one's a little different. 
hopefully you kind of looked at these segments as you were reading them up on your number line. Segment RS, that's the one you're looking for. That's not the biggest segment of the three. Clearly the biggest segment is segment PS because the other two segments live inside of it. Point R is the point that's in between. So we're not going to add those two segment lengths. We have the big length. We have a small length. How are you going to find the other small length? You're going to subtract. Your two littles still have to equal the big. So 25 plus a number gives you 62. When you subtract those, you get 37. That's the distance from R to S. If you're not sure, you can go back and check. 25 plus 37. Does it give you 62? Okay, it does. So that's your segment addition postulate. You're adding two little segments to get the big segment. Sometimes, though, they give you the big segment. In that case, you'd subtract the little to get the other little one. 